Can we talk for a second about the differences you see in the dancers on So You Think You Can Dance and A Chance to Dance? Are there big differences between the type of dancers that come to each show? I think when uh, the dancers came to the audition, they came with the same mindset as they would for So You Think You Can Dance. Everyone in America basically is taught to be a soloist. Uh, and the difference with this show, of course, A Chance to Dance, is that we're looking to make a company. Here in America, people without any formal training whatsoever will turn up and go, oh, look, I can do this, uh, and, you know, take me for your company. And don't forget, we weren't creating just a classical company here. This is all forms, all different genres of dance. They've got a ballroom person, no hip-hop in there, a lot of contemporary stuff. So it, it was really... They have the classical form. And, and ballerinas, too. So it was really important that the word went out to the community, the dance community. Uh, but in this short period of time, you know, I was tweeting away, go along to this audition. We were keeping our fingers crossed, to be honest. Did you warn Michael and Billy about the bizarre acts they might be getting, like the hula hoopers or the break dancers? Of course not. Three, no. <laughs> so they had no idea. And they did get a hula hooper. Yeah. <laughs> the hoop girl. Good, good, good. And she had spunk. She did. She was a feisty one. Things like everyone else has ballet experience. You know, a lot of dance is based on ballet, and I am not a ballet dancer. You know, if I audition and I end up having to quit my organic gardening job, then I will. Because I feel like there's a lot more potential in, in the whole performance world than the organic gardening world for me.